very much, Mr. Romeva Irueda. The next speaker is Mr. Tannock for one minute. President, it's the extremely sad truth that while gay rights are improving across the European Union, much of the world appears to be retreating from this agenda and actually stepping up discrimination against LGBT people. It's deeply ironic that the anti-gay laws in India and parts of Africa are colonial-era statutes introduced by Europeans, who themselves long ago repealed them in their own countries. Gay people have lived in every culture throughout history, and governments must understand it as a basic element of human sexuality. Governments have the right, of course, to make their own laws free from outside interference, but they do not have the right to criminally prosecute and persecute innocent people who simply wish to lead alternative private lifestyles. We must therefore do all that we can to support the LGBT community, communities and to work with our partners around the world, and particularly with reference to the recent bills before the Ugandan president and, and in Nigeria to criminalise homosexuality there, to encourage changes to these rather aggressive and unpleasant laws. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Tannock. Mrs. Shaka, one minute, 30 seconds. Thank you, President, Commissioner and colleagues. While already facing multiple challenges... In